now. Hi, I'm Michelle, and this is my Sundowner Trailblazer 3, which I have on the market for sale right now for $21.5. And I'm going to walk through all of the features on it, and at the end I'll give you my information so that you can call me if you're interested. It's aluminum skin. It's about 25 feet long and uh, 80 inches wide. It is a two horse slant. We'll look at the back later. It's an aluminum skin with a steel frame and we will look underneath and I will show you the steel frame because I have had the whole entire trailer redone underneath. Aww. It has aluminum running boards, aluminum fenders, it has outside outlets here and here. It also has, let's see, what is it, uh, cable, and I'm not really sure what that is. What is that? That looks like a cigarette lighter, but it's not. Yeah, it's just uh, where you can plug in a power source. Okay, power source. It's shaped like a cigarette lighter. Okay. Outside speakers, like a little porch light. It has a full awning, which does work. I'll roll that down in a minute and show it to you. Um, it's in good shape. Let's go on the inside. This is an eight foot short wall trailer. Okay. You wanna come on, can you come here? All right. This is the bathroom. It has a separate toilet with a shower. It has little hanging bars here. It's got a little wand. You can turn it on and off so you can conserve water. Although the hot water tank is a fast recovery hot water tank. But as you can see there's plenty of room to stand in here um, and take a shower. It has a curtain with a little slide. It has a vent up here. Rolls up. Down. It has a light. It's got a light in here too, which actually I've never used before. It has a cabinet. A little bathroom cabinet here. Nice space. has two electric plugs and then a door which goes out into the horse. And actually what I did on trips, if I had a long trip, I would um, use this back door to come and put like my dirty clothes. I'd have a table back here for extra things. I'll open this up in a minute. It's kind of hard to tell. And I had extra hanging stuff put right here so that I could hang stuff out here to give me more room in my living quarters. Hey, will you flip the water pump switch? Okay, this is going to show you how the toilet works. The toilet works great. It's in good shape. You can see it feels. Everything works really well. It also has a privacy slide here. And it locks back into place. Alright, then we have a double sink, cold water, hot water, have a plug here, nice space up above the sink, actually a lot of space up above the sink, and you've got your cooktop, you can't really see the light, it is on with an exhaust fan. Here's your cooktop. It's got a double gas burner on it. I've never used the cooktop. I usually go out to eat when I go to shows. Okay. You have your, you can slide this up and down. Or 
close it. All right, it's got a freezer. Nice freezer, as you can see, it's clean. Nice clean freezer. You can use it on gas or electric. Same with the refrigerator. It's nice, clean, very roomy. Um, it has these neat little vegetable trays that come out. And it's got a piece of plastic up here so that you can put things on here and they won't fall through. Under here is a little bit of storage space, but it's your hot water tank. That's your full, I mean, fast recovery hot water. And I've never been at a loss for hot water. It, it, it must recover fast because I'm always able to take a shower. And if I have a friend, they can take a shower as well. All right, then we have more cabinet space up here. This is the actual comforter that came with the trailer up here. So you have that space there. And you have this space here. And again, you have an outlet up in this cabinet space. You have day-night shades on here. There's your daytime, and then there's your privacy shade. These are really nice. All right. And your window is really easy to open. It's just a slide. And you can walk it back. And then you have your couch which folds out into a sleeper sofa. I have fit as many as four people in here. Three comfortably, but we have had four people before. It's actually a really comfortable couch. And it slides back in very easily. And underneath here, I don't know if you can get it. This is your water, this is like your reservoir. Fresh water. Fresh water tank. And it holds a good bit. I've never run out of water. Okay. Here's your wardrobe. For all your hanging clothes or your tall boots. Nice spacey space in there. Spacious wardrobe closet. And then here are your generator buttons. And right here is a unique switch where you can turn the entire trailer off or on. If you just want to turn the whole thing off, you just click it over here to off, and everything is just like uh, tripping a breaker. Microwave. Again, I have never used the microwave. It's a nice microwave. I use it to hold <laughs> the orientation tape that I got when I bought the trailer and the manual that has all of the um, manuals for everything that's in the trailer. Um, all the new information that I got when I bought the trailer has the Trailblazer 3 brochures in it. This is full of anything and everything you'd ever want to know. I'll leave it in there. Okay. Oh, I'm going to show the control panel. Here's the control panel. Um, this is how you test all of your tanks to see if they're empty or full. It also gives you your battery life. Um, this is your water pump. If you're not hooked up to a permanent water source, this is how you use your water all weekend. There's a pump underneath the couch. And this is your hot water heater. Just turn that on. When that light goes out, it, the uh, water's hot and it's out so the water must be hot and then here are all your lights just right there at your fingertips turns them all on so that's your control panel okay then let's move on to the bed area first off you have two really nice steps here um, real easy to get onto the bed with those steps um, if you're laying up here, you have easy access to your radio. The sound system's great on here. Um, you can do inside and out. Or you can do just inside. Or you can do just outside. 
so however you want to set your speakers. It also has a DVD player and before I had my iPhone I used it to wake me up. It's got an alarm on it as well. So it's really nice. It also has an auxiliary so you can um, plug a cord into it and listen to like Pandora or um, any of your apps that have music that you like to listen to on it. It's a great stereo system. Um, those stereo systems on these new trailers are really expensive. This is your furnace. Um, gets pretty warm in here, so if you use this, you will definitely be toasty. It's real easy to use. You just click it on. Um, it runs off your propane tank. Pick your temperature, and um, it comes out of the vents that are on the ground. You see those over there You're underneath the shower? Yeah, and then over there. It blows hot air when you need it. And it gets really warm in here. Okay, so I guess talking about that, we need to move on to the air conditioner. This is the AC, and it works great. You can hang meat in here when, you're, um, when you have this on. You can make it really, really cold or, you know, a lot less cold, however. And it's got a heat strip on it, too. I've never used the heat strip, but um, the air conditioner works really, really well. It has a flat screen TV, which when we bought the trailer, we had a bigger TV on here. We've recently taken it off. It does have a couple of little holes where the old TV was, but... Um, this is the new TV. It works great. It works off of this antenna right here. Just turn it out and it'll find channels wherever you are. Uh, or you can watch DVDs. A lot of times I watch DVDs on it. There is not a satellite on this trailer. So it works totally off of just the, um, the antenna on the trailer. And then back here, um, this is where you would plug in the uh, park cable. It's got an amplifier for the antenna, and then, of course, it has just um, some outlets. All right, then you have your little privacy curtain here on the edge. And you can move that wherever you want. It slides however you want it to slide. Um, you do have lights up here, which I guess I need to turn them on. And then on. I think when I turned it off, turned the breaker off, it must have turned them off. So I'll show you the storage space up here, too. You have even more storage space. There's a lot of storage in this trailer. Um, these are the original pillows that came with the trailer that I just had in a bag in here. But you have all of this space in here as well. A lot of space. It's got a light, it's got a hanging bar in here, as well as one in the wardrobe in the front. And then you have another one right here. This basically is where all your um, fuses and breakers are. There's not a whole lot of room to store in here, and I don't know that I would because it's got all your electrical stuff in it, but that's where all that is. Um, up here as well, you have the same shades. This is the privacy shade, the day shade, and then all the way open. Um, and the windows open real easy. You just crank them, and they open up real easy like that. And I tell you what, the same thing, and I've never thought about this, but the other thing about this trailer is, is that if you get into a emergency situation, you just lift these two red things up and the window falls out and you can crawl out of the window. So that's just another safety feature. I usually keep those down. Okay. And of course you have a speaker up here for the stereo. You've got a speaker over there. Um, let's show them. We did have... A while back, we did have a leak in this trailer, and my husband and I fixed this wall. So this wall is different from this wall. To be honest, I like this wall better. Um, I like the natural look better, but, you know, um, this is the original wall, 
and then that's the wall that we replaced um, due to the water damage, which of course has been fixed. So that's not an issue anymore, but it is a little bit different. Okay. Alright, and it has a um, fire, what is that called? A little fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher there. So that's a safety feature. And it has a detector right there which tells you if, if there's um, gas leaking in the trailer. And it's really, really loud. I've tested it before and it goes off and you're not going to sleep through it, I'll just tell you. It also has a smoke detector in it right here, which is another safety feature. Okay, let's close the door. All right, it's got a handle on the door. And believe it or not, that's an extra when you buy this thing. And then it has a shade that comes down. So at night you have privacy. All right. Here we to take up and down. And it has a sliding screen door, which I never really use. Um, just will come across here so that you can leave your door open if you want. I never use that much. I never really like opening my door. There you go. Okay, so that's the living quarters part. It's been kept up. We've kept it very clean. Um, you know, these trailers, um, they're a lot of work. You have to um, maintain them all the time. So if it is something that you're looking to do, you know, you've got to winterize them in the winter. You've got to make sure that you check the caulking all the time and that you keep them, you know, freshly caulked so that you don't get leaks. And this one has always stayed under cover. So, um, it stays over there in that empty slot, so we've always kept it under cover, which helps with the caulking and the maintenance. Um, but we have taken real good care of it and real good care of the living wheels. Alright, let's go to the wheels. Um, you can see the wheels. Nice tires. The tires are good on the trailer. Put your, put your show them how to put your head on the tire, how deep it is. Oh, yeah. I guess that's... have the ramp. The ramp is spring-loaded. It's it's real easy to lift and to deal with. Um, I prefer a ramp. My horses prefer a ramp. I can lift it with one hand. I mean, it's really easy, spring-loaded. Right. I have lights for the trailer, loading lights, and then these are for the fans. I put fans in the trailer. There's a, a fan for each horse. And then here is the pack room. It snaps back so it doesn't come back on top of you. Um, I was an inventor, so I had a lot of stuff. I used to have a saddle for each discipline, and I had a large tack trunk. And, you know, I was able to get everything on, um, even if I'd go, like, to Florida for a month or two, I still was able to get everything back here, and then some of it I'd put, like, in the back of my trunk. Some people, um, worry about space, but I've never really had trouble with space. It's got, um, as you can see, two, two saddle holders, um, lots of room in here. There's right here, uh, on top of here is where the gas goes for the generator, and I do have the, um, the thing that holds the gas. So anyway, good space. It's got hanging bridle hangers here. This actually pulls out if you need it to. And these move up and down. You just unscrew them in the back a little bit, and you can move them up and down wherever you want. But, Access. 
And then I have the brush holder here. It's got a blanket bar here, and it's got a brush box here. Okay. And then here is the horse area. It fits two horses. Um, I would say that if you have a bigger horse, they're going to fit better in this last slot. This pulls either way. So you can load your first horse here. It has a lot of tie holders. Um, it's got a vent right here, which you probably ought to open, but anyway, it's got a vent right there for air. Like I said, it's got these extra things that I used. Um, it does not affect the horse in any way, but when I would stay in my living quarter, sometimes I would hang things back here to get them out of the way, so I had that added for that reason. Um, it's very well padded here. It's padded in the front, and it's padded on the side. So it's got good padding. Um, and all these were extras when I bought the trailer. All this padding was, was an extra. So anyway, lots of tie wings, like I said. Okay, and then to get your second horse in, you just pull this out, lock it into place, and then you can load your second horse. And there again, a lot of tie rings. Um, another vent. And of course I have the double fans which really do keep them cool. And these win they have windows in the front and the back that you can open to keep them cool. So, all right. And then, of course, it has a butt bar to keep them insecure. So, Oh, and this moves if you needed to. This is really easy to fold up and move out of the way if you need to move it out of the way. So that moves around. Lock it back in the Okay, and let's see. There are your fans. They blow pretty well, and they're not real noisy, which is nice. Alright. Alright, and there's little locks on every door so that you can hold the doors back. did get a little bent right here and I just duct taped it so that it wouldn't hurt the horse but I've never I mean that's been years ago so it's not really a big issue. It snaps in real easy and then if you want to this opens again for easy access if you need to get escape door. And I do have a chain that goes from here to here that I'll have with the trailer. Just kind of comes across their chest right here. I also have covers for these windows and I have the hay bags. I've never used them so they'll be like new. Oh, mm-hmm, okay. 
this is your electrical cord. I have this on it now just to keep it charged while we're at home. But that's, what, what is that, 220? What is that, 120? 220. 220, okay. So that's when I go and I hook up wherever I'm staying. And then when I come home, I just put this on it and this keeps the batteries charged. So, and it pulls out really, really long. I mean, it gives you a lot of, a lot of room to plug in. That's the furnace. Should I get the key? Yeah. Okay, this is where you put the water. You can um, hook up with a hose here, or you can actually fill it with your hose before you go home and your fresh water, I mean, before you leave home and your fresh water tank fills through this. It's real easy. Okay, um, it has an electric jack on it, which I love. I'll never be without one ever again. You just sit, stand here and you it up, push it down. There's no winding. It just uh, takes it up and down for you. It's really, really easy. Um, this trailer has two propane tanks. It has two batteries. It has a full-size spare. Um, your hook up. Oh yeah. And then of course here is your sewer hose, which I guess we gotta go back and show you about that. But this is where the hose is to clean out the fresh water in the sewer tank. It just stays inside here. And when you go like to a rest area or somewhere you just pull the hose out for cleaning. It's real easy. And just push it back in there. on the truck two chains and it's got a um, one the battery if it pulls away from the truck it uh, pulls a little pin and it makes the trailer wheels stop rolling so that your trailer doesn't take off down the and then this is where you clean out your fresh water and your sewage right here yeah okay um, this is Michelle again the battery went dead so let's get back to the awning I'm gonna roll it down and just I've already unhooked the sides you just roll it oh, you gotta put it in down You just go back and forth until you get it up as high as you want it to go. And then when you want to take it down, bring it down. Arms 
back. Put it in rolled up position. And that is the trailer. Um, like I said, I'm asking $21,500 for it. I am the original owner. Bought it in 2003. I paid $42,000 for it when it was new. And everything on it works the way it should. And if you have any questions, you can call me. My number is 205 901 3953 and the trailer is in Birmingham, Alabama. Thanks.